Well, loads of fish. <laughs> Thousands of them. Well, let's set up somewhere. I think this might be a good spot because it looks like someone's been throwing ground bait in. Loads of fishermen here, so there's a nice little bit of rock there as well. Perfect. Well, we are Madeira. Taking us a while to get here. There's various cancellations and delays and things, but we're here. So we've come out just for a quick hour. You can see down there, nice little rock mark. Little pier. It's a lovely Lucy. <laughs> Surrounded by kestrels and or sparrow hawks. God knows what they are, I can't get close enough. Lizards, all sorts of stuff going on. But it's beautiful. So we've just caught a little scorpion fish, which I'm told are quite poisonous over here, so shouldn't get too close to it. Mikey's obviously not here. Um, because we don't do everything together. <laughs> but let's see if we can catch a few fish. Oh, yep, straight in. Oh, he come off. There's lots of these, by the looks of it, scorpion fish, and I think I'll probably... Oh, I don't know what they are. That looked more silvery. Oh. <laughs> and they keep nicking my bait. So they've obviously got teeth, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Oh my God, they're savage. Could be a shanty, <laughs> could be something that simple. Whoa, 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 go mental. Ah, it's a ras, yes. It's one of the ones I wanted to catch. Yes, brilliant. No, these are all right. Amazing, these are beautiful little fish. Look at the colors on that. This has literally been on my bucket list for quite a long time, one of these. That's in. I don't know if that's an ornate wrasse, I think they call them. They really go like hell, those little wrasse. Let's so get another one, that's really good fun. Oh, it's taking me bait again. <laughs> it's insane. I think it's those wrasse, it just having it big time. To be fair, I've got quite a big hook on. The smallest I had was a 12, because stupidly forgot to bring my, my micros, but never mind. So we've got the Nebula Rock Rover, which is a nice five-piece rod. But I've just put on something slightly different, because I just kept... Oh, there we go. Oh, straight in. <laughs> What have we got this time, me? Eh? Oh no, it's another scorpion. Uh-oh. So apparently these are a bit feisty, so I've just been told by one of the locals. Kind of wish I had a disgorger. Uh, hmm. We'll figure out a way of dealing with that. Oh, that's it. Excuse me, are they, are they okay to pick up with a rag to take the hook out of? Yeah. Is that the best way? Yeah. Yeah. Are they poisonous? Yes. I just like that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. There we go. It's all weird. Oh, I oh, come off. He's going really well, that one. Hey. Still biting a little bit. Bloody hell. Absolutely ripped that to shreds. Absolutely loving this nebula. Perfect little travel LRF rod. And it comes with two tips, a solid tip and a tubular tip, which is ideal for anglers who like to throw a few metals and do a bit of drop shot in bits. 
covers every basis and it's very light as well. So I've changed over from the Cheb head. Um, just been speaking to one of the locals, he said the better fish, the more interesting fish are much further away from the structure here. So we'll go on his recommendation in a minute. I don't know if you can hear me, it's a bit breeze has got up a little bit, but Oh no, brilliant. These are like the scorps we get at home, but they're a bit poisonous, these ones. Right, we'll double wrap the blanket. There's no need to kill these fish. Yeah, they're poisonous, but <clears throat> dealt with in the right way, it's fine. So we've grabbed it tight in the blanket. We just, there we go. Pop the hook out. Doesn't look overly happy, does he? And then we'll just, there you go, off he goes. There we go, ah, it's a puffer. <laughs> there we go, I don't know if you can see that. It's a tiny little puffer fish. That's awesome. Look at the colors on him, he's awesome. Ow. So he's, I don't know if you can see the iridescent blue things on him, but he's puffed right up. It's a beautiful little fish. <laughs> Maybe this is what all the little bites are from. They do have a nasty set of gnashes on them. But they do puff up. You can hear him kiss him. <laughs> awesome, well happy at that. Hopefully he'll go back. He's a bit puffed up. Lovely little puffer. Apparently the locals say they're right pests here, but as far as I'm concerned, that's a really cool looking fish. Anything that's not a dogfish or a shanny, I will gratefully receive. So we'll just drop down again, see if we can find something else different. And I'm very glad they're missing the big laughing fundraiser this weekend because that's going to be a great social event and a really good one for charity too. Oh, there we go, another bite. Oh, he's on there. Oh, I can't off again. Oh, oh, that's another puffer. Looks like a different species, this one. Yeah. <laughs> A good fun. I don't think any of these are poisonous unless you eat them. There we go. Wow, look at that. You can hear him crunching on the hook. Oh, he's blowing up. There we go, he's blowing. I don't think he's too happy. <laughs> he's going for it. You see that tiny bit of gulp in his mouth. They're obviously pretty rampant at the moment, these little, um, <laughs> these little puffers. And it's great to see. This is another species for the trip. Go another fish. What's this one? Ah, it's another puffer. <laughs> That's the same one as before. It's a little blue one. <clears throat> these mouths are so tiny, and I'm really surprised that we're actually hooking these fish. But you can see that's hooked fair and square in the mouth. Stunning colours on that. Don't know if you can see the blue, the iridescent blue spots all the way down here. It's a beautiful little fish. But they're loving this bit of gulp. So I think we'll call that a night. We've had some nice, <laughs> I say nice fish, some interesting fish this evening. Been good fun for a couple of hours, especially on all the imitation baits. Um, all the locals have gone now, so that kind of tells me it's time to probably go home. <laughs> We're off fishing again. Obviously we had an early morning. Very early morning, 5.30 we had to get up. Um, just got to find my way out of the hotel now.
start something. Not no. It's medium size. Okay. Oh my god, that's, that's quite big. Is this what they call Dentex? Dentex, yes. 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 I wanted to catch one of those. This is Dentex Shimosh. It's the okay. one with the, the, the males have the, the lump on the head. Yeah. This one is a young male. Awesome. <laughs> Wicked. There we go, first fish on the boat. Little Dentex. Slime bait in these squid. 150 meters of water. It's quite fun reeling in with no fish on the end. It hurts. So I have else does it for me. It's a bit of a whim. <laughs> Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Stunning. Hopefully get a bigger one. A long way up. Oh, oh that's a nice one. Beauty again? Yeah. Not the size that we. Extreme. Look at that. Female? Yeah. Female. Female. Yes. Wow. Okay. Put the rod down. <laughs> They've got some serious teeth, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know, they are called dentex yeah. because of that dent, dent, dentish uh, Portuguese is teeth. Yeah, ah. makes sense. Yeah, beautiful colours. Wow, it's the light, isn't it? These these cameras don't like low light conditions, <laughs> yes. but for a small one, yeah. I think it's possibly more than that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, this is the species that you showed me before. The couch is green. Yes. Ah. Perfect. Ah, yeah, so it is. Can you call this? Uh, this is, uh, the scientific Pagos. name is Pagos Pagos. Yeah. But uh, we don't like, we call it red snapper too. Yeah. Between us, we don't like any, any, any difference. Everything's red snapper. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. See the, the, the tip of the, the yep. tail is wide. Yep. You see, is this on yep. the back? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Beautiful fish, though. Well done. Is it? Yeah. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's another snapper. Yeah. I'm getting good at it. Great fun. It's a long way up. Let's say 150 meters. Fishing with live squid with four hooks in it. Four squid. Hey. Four squid. Four squid. <laughs> Quite interesting, you real like hell, but you feel the weight, or well, you probably see it. And then the fish lets go, but then another one jumps straight on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is Look at that. That's, one. That's a proper one, isn't it? Yes. Let's pop Sorry. the rod down. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> they never bite through the trace then? Yes. They do. I'm going to change it now. This is a good one. Another female. Yeah, nice. Are the females generally bigger than the males or are they about the same? No. That's Perfect.
this country is so cool. I say country, it's an island. Apparently, so I've been corrected many times. It's not a country, it's an island. Madeira is obviously Portuguese island, but I keep calling it the country. But you shouldn't. But it's cool. I know there's a bit of building work done here and there. But the, oh, it's just, everyone's lovely. The plants, the architecture, butterflies, birds. It's awesome. It's a great place. I don't like the hills. The hills are really rubbish. This one's really steep. And I kind of hurt my knee the other night. I won't explain how I did it. May have fallen out a lift drunk. May not have. There's koi carp everywhere. I hope some of you like koi carp anyway. Check out this badger. There are a lot of koi carp here. That's a beautiful one actually. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm a very high, 580 meters up. <laughs> All well, the clouds here. I'm about to undertake a toboggan ride down the mountain. It just looks fun. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, man. Uh, this is... <laughs> 